Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 25th, 2020. So today we have Share Your Voice, Come Out of the Cave, Persecution Expression. I'm laughing because boy, if this ain't my card, this is so my card, okay? This is what we're talking about. Finally coming out and saying, you know what? I've always kind of felt like all this stuff that we've been told is nonsense. Um, you know, I never did resonate with that. <laughs> and you have these practitioners that come out and say, resonate means I agree with it. And I, I absolutely, I think that's an important thing to say. When people say resonate, they mean, um, I don't like what you just said, or I do like what you just said. It resonates with me, right? So the way I'm using resonated is in the fact of when I heard that, uh, my instincts went off. Like something isn't right about that. Now people have had those instincts about me and I totally understand it because I have to edit so much for my safety. Uh, sure, people are gonna pick up and say, I feel like you're not coming out with the whole truth. I'm not, but do I know more than you? Not really, um, but I, I just, I don't know. Some people are insightful, I guess, <laughs> like, and intuitive. And I do feel like there are certain things going on that I'm not gonna come out and say because that could put me in danger. Heck, I you know just kind of said a little bit and got a mysterious warning on my channel that couldn't be explained. So I do understand where people are saying, okay, you know, I, I feel like I wanna persecute you for what you're saying because something seems off about that. So the way that we could get around this, right? <laughs> what I'm getting at here, the way we can get around this is by learning to listen to our hearts. Uh, I think, what was it, yesterday or the day before, I was giving the example of going to this event that I was invited to and walking in and everybody was just very, uh, egotistical and trying to be more powerful than the other person and if I had listened to and trusted my instincts on that listened to my intuition on that I should have said no and said no thank you what's more I shouldn't have pursued a friendship with that very toxic person who came off like she was super sweet and kind and she had plenty of people brainwashed around her to keep saying that she was sweet and kind and she was not she was a person who didn't care that someone was getting abused. She heard about someone getting abused and she didn't even care if that person was okay or not. She was more concerned about what that was gonna do for her financially. Okay, it's that sort of thing. These are the things that you know we have to start listening to our intuition on. And what's more, if you get a hit on like someone's not saying the full truth, it may not be because they're trying to connive you, <laughs> right? Or be conniving. It might be that they can't say. So yeah, we got some work to do here. If that's confusing for you, you better get on in there and do the work. That way you can listen to your instincts, okay? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.